for a few folks. No, that's not what we're going to do. I've just been corrected by the Spirit. We're going to pray for souls in the first prayer of faith. Souls. But I've been saved 100 years, Brother Clark. I don't care if you have. You might have been meddling. Hallelujah. You might have been dabbling, kind of the same thing. You might have had spots on your garment rubbing the shoulders with the heathen this week, you know, blemishes and wrinkles and any such things. Come on, glorious church. If you don't need the prayer, I'll let you off the hook during the prayer, but I want everybody to pray it because there might be a backslider or a lukewarm or a reprobate here that I don't want falling through the cracks. I don't want to lose nobody today. I want to deliver my soul, have no blood on my hands. Do you blame me? Don't believe in meddling. So when I pray this prayer, it won't be meddling. It'll be the real thing. Hallelujah. Everybody stand. Raise your hands up high. No matter how sanctified you feel like you are, Josiah, you might be tempted to get involved with the wrong thing. It may have already. So we're praying. Everybody pray this prayer of a loud voice and mean it. Dear Jesus, Hear my cry today. Wash me in the blood again. Cleanse me once more. Reinstate my name in the Lamb's book of life. Let me know I'm saved. If you can straighten out the insides, you won't have no trouble with the outsides. I praise God for my soul. I repent. I shall be baptized. If I haven't already, I should be filled with the Holy Ghost. If I haven't already, and if I have already, I should be refilled again today. And speak of new tongues today. Get my mansion ready. I'm going to heaven. I'm a child of the King. There is no condemnation. There is no separation. I shall see Jesus. I shall live for God. I shall go to church. I shall stay in church. I thank you for my soul. I praise you for my salvation. Should you come today, I would go today. Oh, thank you, Lord. I'm caught up of myself. I got a fresh touch and a new experience. I thank you for my soul. Praise him, everybody. Thank God for your soul today. That was the first prayer. Hallelujah. Ah, yes, we didn't lose nobody. Everybody prayed it. Even this man sitting on the front here didn't stand, but he prayed it. That's the main thing is to pray it because out of your words you're justified or you're condemned. God heard the words, see, and he recorded them. Every word and deed is recorded in heaven. Did you know that? Now take a deep breath and see how good you feel. First you were washed by the word of God. Christ gave himself for that he may sanctify and cleanse it by the washing of water by the word. Th that is the word gave you a bath today. You took a shower while I was preaching. You're sitting in the hot tub. You're washed. And now you're clean. Check that out again. You're feeling lighter? All the meddling's gone, the weights are gone, the burdens are gone, you're floating away now, you're ready to ascend. Hallelujah. Thank God for thank God for church. Praising my God. All right. I shouldn't have no trouble now praying for your outsides. We've took care of your insides. Hallelujah. Is it right? Amen. All right, I'm gonna I'll tell you what, I'll help you out here and, and move through the aisle instead of pulling you out in the aisle. This sister, let's pray for her first. Raise up your hands. God's going to touch your body this morning. Do you believe it? Yes. You, do you want him to heal you? Yes. Do you need healing? Yes. You do? Of course, that's why I picked you. <laughs> if you look upon me, I'll pray for it as I see it, okay? Of late, your eyes have been bothering you. 
again, quite hazy, and has nothing to do with your glasses. In fact, you are needing to change your prescriptions. Hmm? I do yesterday. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Did you say yesterday? Or? yesterday? Yesterday. I thought you said yes. She said yesterday. <laughs> now, there's a reason for this. It starts in your bloodstream. God's going to purify your blood. The sugar level in your blood has been starting to affect your eye. Yes. You want that healed. Mm -hmm. Besides that, your pressure fluctuates, the blood pressure, and it mostly goes high. Well, now there's three things. Shall I pray for it all or quit? Pray for more or just stop? You want everything? <laughs> yes. Well, okay. We'll pray for everything. Of late, you've been stiff and drawing in your neck back here. Has that been pretty bad? Yes, very bad. How bad? Oh, it's a lot. Well, real bad, she says. You know, well, you don't have to be coy. You can just tell me whatever. All right, that's going to leave you now. The final thing I'm seeing is kind of a tightness like a wheezing here in your chest, in your breathing, a little bit more heavy on the left side. That's over the heart. So now here's your respiratory. Here's your new neck. Here's your new eyeballs. Here's your new blood transfusion. Loose her today and let this happen to her that she has got a new body this morning. Woo! And we're not meddling. We're coming to the point here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Could you let her out? I'm going to walk with her a couple of steps. These are the steps of faith. Everybody walks by faith. Even the heathen walk by faith. Oh, that's good. Now stop. Check your neck. You know, that neck that's really been aggravating you. Don't ream it off, but test it. Is there any pain in your neck? No, yeah. No. You're right. There's no pain in your neck. <laughs> Do it yourself. Now let's look at the friendly folks waving at us. They're all they're all over here. They're a little bit crisper and brighter to your eyes. Mm -hmm. You may not have to change those lenses, those glasses after all. <laughs> Although yesterday you were supposed to. <laughs> oh, you know, it ain't fair to the devil operating in the gifts of the spirit. It just ain't fair to him. That's right. Who cares? He's not a fair creature anyway. Thank God for the word of knowledge. Say, thank God for the word of knowledge. Take a deep breath. See how it is. Better? Yeah. And do you feel like a warm heat came all over you? Like warm? Yes. That's the sign for many years in this ministry of a blood transfusion. So whatever is wrong with the body is corrected when the heat passes, which in your case was sugar and blood pressure. See? So congratulations on your new blood. I know it's, it's purified because her eyes are getting clearer, see. Now, beside you was another sister, this sister come. Amen. Come. And uh, I'm going to pray for you next for your healing. Are you ready? Amen. What did you do to your thumb anyway? I get hurt at work. Hmm? I get hurt at work. You got hurt at work. Well, you're going to get healed at church. <laughs> now, Brother Freddie, you're jumping the gun. And I ain't meddling. I'm serious. <laughs> Hallelujah. You ready for a new thumb? Amen. We cop up on shrine. Lord, make this hand hole and this thumb, even the wrist, and all that mess that happened at work, let it be a bygone nightmare that never happened. Heal her now in Jesus' name.
Do this. Pretty good. Where's your pain? It was right here. What? It was right here. I don't care about was. I, I, I said, where is? That's present. Where is your pain? Now. I don't feel no more pain. That's because you get healed at church. I told you you was going to get healed at church. I hardly got the word out of my mouth when it happened. Here's a little souvenir for you. Have a yard sale or something. Yeah. Come, she she hasn't got over the thumb yet. <laughs> Boy, that feels good. Listen, I want you to have a little bit more. You want some more? Yeah. You're going to be healed in your knees, in your kneecaps. Mm. Now, that was a revelation because I could see the brace on your thumb. That wasn't no revelation. That was just the work of the miracles. Mm. You know the definitions of the gifts? The work of the miracles is an instant work of God. Healing is a gradual, progressive work of God. But word of knowledge is a supernatural revelation of natural things from the physical world, past and present. But seeing this brace on her thumb, that was not a revelation. That's obvious. But telling her about her knees, now that's not obvious. That's a word of knowledge. See the difference? How long have you been weak in your knees? A little while. For a little while. These, these providenceites, I mean, they're so coy. They can't tell me days, weeks, months, or years. Uh, a, a, a little while. Would you, would you say you've had it for a year? Yeah, for a long time. See, she still can't tell me how many years she had it. Who cares how long she had it? Do I care how long she had it? Why did I ask her? To prove to you people that she had it. That's the only reason I asked her. You people, you know, you Pentecostals. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, let's lay that on the pew right there. On the Bible something. Now, you won't get in the way while you have that camera. Right. You better not. I might run over you. <laughs> we are walking. No, we are marching to Zion. <laughs> with two new kneecaps. <laughs> Come on, do some goose stepping with me here. What happened to your knees? It's gone. They're gone? Not your knees, the, 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 the affliction in your knees is gone. Isn't that something? Yeah. Now you, you should have just went ahead and spoke up to start with because God's healed you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, I find myself over here now. What's going on over here? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Well, would you come on down here, sister? You believe the Lord will heal you today? Yes, I do. First thing, you need is two new legs. Mm -hmm. Pretty bad, huh? Well, let's do that first, okay? Loose her in both her legs. Take the suffering, pain. An aching that she had in that chair five seconds ago and let it never come back. Come follow me. These signs you'll follow them that believe. I'm a believer. You're a sign and you're following me. Whoa, stop. I'm going to ask you a question. And before you answer, remember Ananias and Sapphira. How many knows what happened to them? They lied and they died. Stomp them down there. Where's the pain in your legs? Well, they're not there now. What? They're not there. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Look again. No? No. <laughs> Is she still alive? She must have told the truth. <laughs> Come to me. Hallelujah. Raise your hands up high. God's touching your blood pressure in your body now. It goes up on you a little bit high. There it goes. 
Hallelujah to God. Rakahapon Sriati. The small of your back. Right across there. It's, the band is broken. And the squeezing that comes. Keep your hands up. The squeezing that comes right in there. It's over your heart. And the last thing is along the stomach lining. And that's giving you the biggest fit. Yes. It's pretty raw, huh? You ready to lose them? Yes. Get out of the boat, Sister Peter, and walk on the water. <laughs> there you are. Well, look at the boat way back yonder, and Sister's walking on the waves. Pressure off the heart, Thank blood Jesus. pressure down, you, back's loose. Take every ulcer out of the stomach wall right now. You couldn't have healed her, Brother Clark. You hit her with the microphone. Get over your carnal mind. This is the extension of my hand. I'm not going to put my hand on her, but the extension of my hand permissible because it's called point of contact laying on of hands principle number four the doctrine of christ very necessary for people who are not high enough in faith and, and in spirit to receive a spoken word hello i had to reach the level she said and she needs to lay on hands and how much better would it be to lay hands on the very spot where she's suffering more so than upon her head come now if you would pause and start poking around there and try to find an ulcer would you try to find one what do you think son you think they're gone I don't know I'm not her well then you better wake up and get in the spirit <laughs> I ain't chasing these ulcers all over this church, so you better believe God. We don't put up a pout, doubt, and do without around here. Feel again. See if there's any soreness. Oh, poke. Do poke. something. Come on, make it hurt. I dare you. <laughs> Nothing yet? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but she's healed. <laughs> Go in peace. Faith has made you whole. I'm acid. I know I'm acid. Okay, don't get in the way now. We can't be distracting here when the Spirit of God is working. Hey, I know it's a different day and age, but I've got my uh, stick points too. Let us see. Where is she? She's right here. Rise. Let the Lord touch you. I don't know what you did. You drop something here. I knew that camera was going to get in the way. <laughs> you wish to be healed. Yes. You've been under a depression. Yes, a little bit. Yep. A big bit, but it's going to go from you. It's based on the fact that you feel uh, you don't feel good about yourself. Mm -hmm. You feel like you're. Uh, a waste, you know, like here. What, where's my usefulness? Yes. Is that right? Yes. That's what your depression's based in. Raise your antennas, something will strike them. Hallelujah. Everyone said hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You've had a heaviness you've been carrying around in your chest here. Breathing. Yes. Yes. That's going to be healed today. Do I, can I submit onto you that some of this heaviness is stress and anxiety? Hmm? Yes. Come to me. <laughs> Why did I make her step out? Because when you step out in God, you get deeper in God, then God can do more for you. Here's how Jesus operated. Go jump in the creek. Climb a tree. Go find a man of a water pot on his head. Go get me a mule at the hitching post. Go fishing, Peter. Not the second. First fish, take the money out of his mouth. Stretch forth your hand. Pick up your bed. Here, let me uh, spit in your eye. 
Stick my fingers in your ears. Spit on your tongue. I promise I won't spit on your tongue today. <laughs> Jesus did these things. And every time he commanded somebody to do something and they get up and they did it, they got healed while they were doing it. Amen. Faith without works is dead. Right. You don't have all the faith in the world unless you put some works to it. Preaching isn't enough. You've got to demonstrate your preaching. You've got to prove the preaching, demonstrate the doctrine. I mean, that's, that's the apostolic, that's the Pentecostal way. You can't just talk. You must have deed. Word and deed. Say word and deed. Getting now two new hip joints. Hip joints over the sciatics. Okay. You know the sciatics. Yeah. And one of your knees. I'm feeling it now on my right knee. Well, all I can tell you is where I'm feeling it. I'm glad to get rid of it. <laughs> be healed now of this depression and be healed in your body. Oh, <laughs> Shabande. Glory to God. Going. Peace, faith has made you whole. Someone said, I'm happy. Oh, glory to God. Rise, my brother. When you go back home, you're going to take something with you. Now, what you're going to take with you, you've already had the gift of healing. You've prayed for the sick and they've been healed. I see that. But you are suddenly opened up and made aware that you have a great need for revelation in the last 10 minutes you have suddenly you have felt that and when you go back to Israel you're going back of a word of knowledge word of knowledge re revelation come to this man and may it enhance his ministry when he gets there Jesus name it's done thank you for it hallelujah amen we're getting around here. Rise. Step out. Lift hands. God's strengthening your back right now. Your back. From your neck bone to your tailbone. Wasn't the first thing I saw, though. I saw that you that never had much trouble with your eating habits have developed somewhat of a like a acid reflux and indigestion in your stomach wall. Right. Hiatal hernia. What? Hiatal hernia. Yeah, that's what it is right there. Yeah. That's the complication that the acid reflux created. You also have some sinus in your head. You're plugged up. When you get headaches, you, you call them migraines, and they're not migraines. They're, they're sinus headaches. Okay. You believe me? Yeah. Because you believe me, you're healed. How simple is faith? Now, Lord, you've done this back. I give him right now a new stomach and take the high outer hernia out of his stomach. Got it. Go to the deep. You can't wander through dry places anymore. We got you this time. Start to examine your stomach now and look for a lump, a hardness, a swelling, a touchiness, a pain, a soreness, a sensitivity. Try to find something. Right here. What do you feel? Just right here. Oh, just a little. There's one spot? Yeah, right there. <laughs> Pretty good. It's all down in one spot. You ready for the one spot to disappear? Who's ready? Amen. Come out of him, you one spot of high on our hernia that remains. There it goes. Poke again. What happened? It's going down. It's going down. Is it sore at all? Not like it was. Not like it was, no. Would you say on a scale of ten, uh, 1 to 10, it's about a 9? In pain or away? Both. I feel like it's reduced down to like a 2. I don't do it. Well, I was headed the other way, but 2, that's almost a 1. Yeah, that's right. 
Hallelujah. Lord, as we praise you, you will perfect it because that's how it works. Praise makes perfect. The only pay he gets is thank you, Jesus. You can't buy this. You can only praise him for this. He wants the glory. Give him a little glory in the house. Once more, try it. After the glory. Amen. Amen. It's gone. Really? It's gone, yep. Now, I can tell you, I, I don't know this man, but I can tell by his spirit that he's not a liar. He won't lie. Because three times it didn't go, and the last time he said it did go. <laughs> You're over the high on a hernia. He was in the right place at the right time today. Glory to God. And how long have you been in this chair? A um, few years. A few years. A few years. Okay. We're going to pray that she gets up out of it. What do you say? Amen. Now, you've come a long way today to be here for this? Boston. Up near Boston. Boston. Well, that's a long way for somebody that don't travel much. <laughs> and you brought her. I'm a brother. Amen. And you brought her. Well, we're going to pray for you. I see, i got to tell you about something. Poor circulations in your body. You also have something going on in your heart here. And what it's like, it's just like a little flutter, like a butterfly. And uh, sometimes you, in your head, you can hear a buzzing in your head. Is that true? What? On this left side. Okay. Well... God can take it from both sides. He's not limited. At Azusa Street, they always put the paddles up on the wheelchairs before they prayed. Did, you didn't hear what I just said. How many heard what I just said? That's what I thought, six people. At Azusa Street, they never prayed for wheelchairs until they put the paddles, the footrests up. That's because they're expecting stuff. Hallelujah to God. Okay. Everybody ready? Lord Jesus, let healing come upon this woman today. Give her the ability to get on her feet. Give her the ability to stand. Give her the ability to walk. Take charge of these muscles that's been dying on her. Oh, God. Every muscular dystrophy go, multiple sclerosis go, every Lou Gehrig's go. There they go, 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 go. Habo Shabandre. Glory to God. Grab a hold. Get up. We're up. Let's stop here and praise God that she's up. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. you take you're getting stronger every step you take and I promise you if you do this every day you'll be running around your house Hallelujah. now you that ain't blind can you see that she's walking you want to go home and miss this What do you think? She walking? <laughs> Brother says she's walking. He ought to know. He, he brought her. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Well, you've had quite a journey already. How do you feel? I feel good. 
You do? I do. Everybody feels good when they heal. Amen. Amen. Brother Dave, I'm going to let her sit in your chair. And that's because I want her to sit in a real chair, not a wheelchair. Do you know that you're going to do this now every day, and every day you're going to get stronger and better and better? Amen. You know how to become a cripple? Lay in bed six weeks and don't walk. You get out of bed and you fall on your face. You've got to exercise because you are built and made to exercise. Hallelujah to God. Amen. Well, she had quite a journey. Thank you. Wasn't that great? Thank you, Jesus. That's just a taste. That's just a taste of days to come. Amen. You see what the Lord did for her? Hallelujah. Why don't we let him do it for you, too? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's working on me. Raise them up. Loose Granny right in this chair and let her not be walking with a walker but walking on her own two legs and give her strength and renew her youth like the eagles. In Jesus' name. Well, here we go, Granny. Let's go. You're up like a jack in the box. You hold my hand, we're going to walk. Slow down, wait for me. That's, that's feeling pretty strong. There's only one thing you need. You need the vertigo to get out of your head. Vertigo. Dizzy spell. Vertigo go. Be gone. Jesus' name. I got a better idea. Stay off the internet. Praise God. Thank you. Well, what'd you think of that? Very good. Jeez. And there's the walker, and she's just running across here. It was? Yes. Now, who did that for her? <laughs> the Lord. Whose name is? Jesus. Ah, and it wasn't Mary. No. No, this time it was Jesus. But. This time and every time it's Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Rise. Lord, give my brother wisdom and knowledge and understanding. I pray it on him today. And let him not pray to no saint, but to the Lord Jesus Christ. For every answer he needs from now on, you're turning over a new leaf. You're just going to pray to Jesus for everything you need. Because he's the only one doing all this today. Yes. No one else can do it but him. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Hallelujah. No shrine did that. His name, through faith in his name, have made this man whole, whom ye both see and know. Oh, glory. I sure feel good. What about you? Okay. Should I just speak the word here and move real fast? I know you want special attention, but we get to grow up one day. <laughs> I know your problem is the biggest problem on earth and all, but maybe you could be healed along with everybody else at the same time, huh? Well, we'll do what we can. Let's see. Say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Stand and praise Him. Stand up. Hold your hand. Don't come. Just stand right there. Stay right there. They're so used to me calling them out that they come without even be called, being called. I'm trying to speak the word. Okay, just not touch you. Just pray. You've got poor circulation. Your blood is low. Your eyes are weak, especially your left eye. God is touching your back. 
and the dizzy spells of your head. There it goes from you now. Snap out of your shell. You are important. We know you're in church now. You're not just a bump on the log. You're important. You're here. You're healed. In Jesus' name. Oh, Hallelujah to God. Amen. Rise and praise Him. Now, all your life, you have battled with fear. Fear. God's going to take the fear from you. After today, you won't be scared of anything. No more fears. You're also going to have your ears open up here and begin to hear louder and clearer, even to the voice of God. You're going to be able to hear it. The stress of your neck is disappearing. Well, every chiropractor in Providence wished to God he could have done that. Amen. Check your neck. Not bad. It what? Not bad. <laughs> Not bad? <laughs> Not bad. That means good, don't it? Not bad, good. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's good. Your circulation is healed. Poor circulation. You get a little fuzzy, needly, and numb. Different limbs. God's let the blood flow in her now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You're happy. And you're not scared. No, I'm not. You're not scared of me. No. Most, a lot of folks get scared of me. I don't know why. I mean, I'm just as kind as I can possibly be. <laughs> but I do have to get the job done. Amen. You've been healed before. Stand and get a touch. Yes. Raise your hand. Okay. God is healing your head. The pressure in your head. It feels like a terrible migraine. And this has been going on for years. <laughs> and today it's over with. Finally, God, help us. It's over. Finally got the victory over this. There <laughs> goes. Well, she's free. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> Would you reckon that that's a happy camper? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Stand, God's touching you. Now, in times past in your life, you've been... Uh, easily deceived and fooled and took advantage of. And that's because it's your nature to be just a little bit gullible, see? God's getting you over that tonight, and you're going to weigh everything and try the spirits and try everything. Like you tried them today and found it to be the Spirit of the Lord, see? So let God take that from you. And all those who took advantage you, uh, advantage of you in the past will not be able to do it anymore. They can't do that no more. You're free. And the funny thing is, you always take the blame, see? Because, well, somebody can take the blame, so you volunteer. Well, we're going to blame the devil. You're not going to take the blame anymore. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Take this gullible nature from her. Let her have discerning of spirits today. Oh, glory. Let her never be fooled again. And don't let her take the blame again. In Jesus' name, it's done. Praise him. Glory to God. Now that's very important. Of lesser importance, I could pray for some of the weakness in your body. Would you like that too? Okay, first, you have stress that comes to your neck from an old whiplash. Let's get rid of that. You may check it and see what happened. Beautiful. Beautiful. That means it's gone. it's gone. Good. Now you have a dry tickle that likes to go down your throat here. It feels kind of like a string hanging. God's going to clear your throat. Open your mouth. I'll get the string. There we go. Got it? Swallow. Clear. There are three bones in your back 
their ver vertebrae, they pinch nerves, and I'll, sh I'll show you where they're at. One's there, there, and that one down there, that's the worst one. Finally, you're free of the three malfunctioning vertebrae. What do you think about that? Oh, my God, how did you know this? How did you know this? I can't believe she asked me that when I just got through telling you that the gifts of the Spirit are in operation today. Amen. I can't believe it. Amen. Here they go. Oh my God. Follow me now and see what happens. Ah, now it's downhill from here, see, because the floor slopes this way. Touch your toes, downhill. Well, you sure did it, didn't you? Yes. What'd you feel in them bones? No pain. None? None. Will you ever have it again? No, I will not. What a smart woman. No, I will not. No, I will not. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you. <laughs> Ain't she sweet? She just uh, don't even want to go sit down. And before I called her, she didn't want to be called. <laughs> and I just, just like Jesus, to roll the clouds away. Uh, your friend came back to earth. Hi, friend. How's your head feel? It feels how? Are you seeing now? Are you seeing me okay now? Well, that spirit of infirmity left you, didn't it? Not everything's physical, you know. There's two worlds. You, you don't all, you're not always sick from the physical world. There's another world to get sick from. And if you're sick from the spirit world, forget the doctor. He don't even believe in that world. And his x-ray machine can't take a picture of a demon because they're invisible. All the things you learn when you go to church. Amen. Hallelujah. Stand, let God touch you, Dad. You, yeah, jump right up like a jack in the box. Or you will be on the next jump. <laughs> Are you ready for two new legs? Yes. How about two new kidneys? Uh, Coumadin in the midst of is affected by kidneys, so I, I guess see Dr. Monday to see what he thinks about. Well, Never mind the doctor and the kidneys. You just get out in this aisle and let's take care of them right here on Sunday. Yes, amen. Two legs and two kidneys. What do you say? Amen. Don't forget the doctor's in business. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Oops, your bladder's weak too. Yeah, that's there's a new bladder. I'll be right back. I gotta get to the bladder shelf. Hold still. <laughs> there, I got one. New bladder. Two new kidneys and two new legs. Loose him now in Jesus' name. Amen. He'll shuffle no more. He's been loosed in his bones. Grab my hand and let's walk around Jerusalem just like John. How's your legs feel? Good. They're just aching the knees. Yeah. Well, do a little goose stepping with me here. Well, I guess the ache's gone. It's gone. Poke in there. See what's going on there. Oh. Well. After all, he was supposed to. Was it? Did you say you had to go see the doctor Monday? Yeah. They. They. Well, the Coumadin problem, but the blood problems. I guess they, they think there's a problem. Yeah. Well, if there ain't one, they'll find one. Don't worry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Money. Yes. Lord Jesus, let his kidneys be good, his blood be good, his legs stay good. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Amen. Amen. You know, I'm just loving this. I don't know if you are or not. But the more we do this, the deeper it gets. Maybe you can't handle anymore. I don't know. Oh, you mean you're spiritually hungry people?
You ready? Yes. Come to me. Where's the pain in your back? I think it's still. I think it's still. You think it's healed? You think? Yeah, I feel some. <laughs> now, I'll, you'll be sure in a moment. You're getting a new hip joint in your right hip. Getting a hip joint now over the sciatic. I'll be back in a minute. I gotta go to the to the hip shelf. Angel hip shelf. It's a, thank you. I got one. Work on now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, you're on your feet and you won't sit down, so I, I guess you're going to get healed. I was getting ready to touch the hem of your garment. Well, that wouldn't have done any good, but you can touch Jesus' hem. Amen. <laughs> now, God. I'm seeing your heart is being replaced in your chest. Brand new heart. Praise God. There goes the pressure off of it. Yes. It's been driving your blood pressure, you know. Yes. Driving it high. Correct. Because it's not pumping right. Correct. Start pumping right. Correct. Thank you, Jesus. Obrigado, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 I don't know if that was tongues or Italian. I have six stents in my artery to my heart, and you know it through him. It's Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Well, that part is right. It's Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Let's get your ears a little clearer, too. Um, yes, I have a problem with hearing. I have a hearing aid, and I don't use it. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, is that what I just said? Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God, on stop his head and let him hear loud and clear and plain. Yes, oh, yeah. yes Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Open loud and clear. Yes, Lord. Open loud and clear. Yes, Lord. Thank you. It's like I just washed my ears. It's better. But I know who did it. Not me. Not you. Him. El Shaddai did it. He's focused. By his stripes we are healed. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to test your ears here. It's humming. Very good. True. It's humming. Correct. It's humming again. And that's a quiet hum. It's not a tick. It's a hum. That's right. It don't tick. It has a tiny battery. I don't know. I never met him before, but I know who he serves. And he's here today and moving in this assembly. I Hallelujah. I want to say to the church, my Hallelujah. pain is gone. Glory to God, Jesus. Praise you, Lord Jesus. What you say is gone? My pain is gone. All the rest of them said the same thing. That's odd. <laughs> this watch has a tiny battery. It makes a faint hum. I've had it since 1967, checking X deaf ears with it. It takes a perfect ear to hear it. He heard it. It didn't tick. If he'd have said tick, I'd have worried about him, but he said hum. Say praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now listen. I know that you're not used to being in church this late. I understand that. But we, in our crusades, in this modern day and age, we have to have a whole week's crusade in one service. Because this is the day and age of one night stands. When I first started preaching, the pastor would not book a revival for less than two weeks. And I would say, I have a week. No, you can't come, Brother Freddie. Why not? If one of them said it, they all said the same thing. Because my people cannot be revived in less than two weeks. Now you know why we're here as long as we are today in the age of one night stands. Having a whole week's worth of revival in one service. We're not done. And you might leave me in the middle of this, I don't know. But I'm going to bring you to the front in a minute and be able to pray so much faster up 
front where everybody gets in the same place, one mind, one accord, you know. And uh, deliver my soul, get all the blood off my hands before I leave this year. Sorry I missed last year. Had a good excuse here. I always look forward to coming here once a year. Now, that being said, we do have to ask you to bring to the front with you something special. And I wonder if you even know what it is. That's what I figured you don't know. So I'm going to have to tell you what it is. It is an offering for evangelism. Duh. What was your first clue? Say it with me. Offering for evangelism. The miracles have not stopped. We're taking a two-minute recess. After the offering, we will just have some more of them this morning.